prawns? Mm -hmm. Where are we? What do you mean? We are in the data matrix. Um, so why is it empty? What do you mean? No, it's not. It's here. It's there. It's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. I don't Floating know if I really space. understand what a matrix is. Think of the movie. Yeah, but we're basically in it. So like, what, what do you see? Like, it's, it's a big white room to me. I'm gonna, I I'm see not gonna lie. data. What kind of data? One of the data points that just popped up is employee turnover cost. Oh, OK. What What's... do you think that means? Um, how much you have to pay when an employee leaves or to hire someone? You're close. It's actually the cost that the restaurant operator incurs whenever the restaurant employee leaves the company. Well, yeah, but I mean, that can't be that much. Like, it's just like you just How much do you up, think it is? I don't know, like 50 bucks. 50 bucks. I mean, like you can put up a Craigslist ad for hiring for free. So like, yeah, like 50 bucks. Try again. 500 bucks? Thousand? $6,113 to be exact. Can you okay. Believe that? And the worst part is they don't even recognize the $6,113 because it doesn't show up, show up in your income statement. It doesn't show up in your cash flow statement nor does it show up in your balance sheet. So in econ, we would call it opportunity costs. You got the traditional costs, like hiring, training and onboarding, learning and development, but the opportunity costs, the demoralized staff, yeah. distracted management, oh. lower customer satisfaction. Have you ever been in a restaurant when somebody has like rage quit and then like everything goes to crap? Like that's a exactly. terrible experience, yeah. There are also stories out there where, you know, if you're a repeat customer who goes to a certain restaurant and you go there mainly, you know, because you happen to be friends with a waiter, if that waiter leaves, usually the customer doesn't come back. Really? Yeah. So that's what you do all day? You just pull out this, the data from this space? Data usually leads to more data. And before you know it, you get the whole matrix. Okay, what else you got? Let's, let's pick that one. But why do you think that employees tend to quit their jobs in the restaurant industry? Pay sucks. They make around 13, one, three, $13,000 a year. The Karens of the world? Mistreatment by customers, yes. I feel like everyone should have to wait tables for like a month. Most people who work in the restaurant industry say that not only are they underpaid, they're also being underappreciated. You have to sacrifice a big chunk of your social life. You learned all of this from the data matrix? Most of it. Cool. If the restaurant owners are losing $6,000 and employees are dissatisfied with their work, then like, how do you fix that? Like, there has to be a solution. Compensate your workers for what they feel they're worth. Making workers feel that they're actually not disposable. The restaurant management typically doesn't recognize that, you know, culture ultimately, the restaurant or the company culture is conveyed by its employees. Most restaurant employees who did report positive experiences in their work say that obviously they were not underpaid, so the pay was good. They uh -huh. did receive their benefits, they did get paid time off, and they had a strong and tight knit group. So the solution is to just treat people like humans? Yes. Oh, okay. Is that more data coming Easy. in? Is that, is that like a new stat? I'm pretty sure that's an airplane. Oh, it's really great. I'm really looking forward to that because, you know, right now it's just the white room. And I mean, it's very impressive. And honestly, the airplanes, I can't believe we can still hear them in here. You need better insulation. You know, usually when you think of the matrix, it's, it doesn't have any tangible or physical walls. It's just kind of like you really know how to appreciate the matrix when you don't realize you're in it. Wait, so, yeah, I can still see you. <laughs> what do we do now? We disappear. Franz, Franz, I don't, I don't have that ability, buddy. Buddy? Franz! Seriously? Okay, I guess I'll go find that rooftop bar. I don't know what that is. Franz, like, 
Where did you go? Also, like, why don't you have a rooftop bar in this place? That is amazing. Okay. Okay, cool. Do you wanna, you wanna like, come with me or are you, are you gonna leave again? I'll come with you. Okay.